everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Desiree. It's very nice to meet you. So today I'm going to be doing my mom's uh, makeup and she's right here. She's um, uh, just going to be a good advocate and let me do uh, my, her makeup for her. And so she kind of be blindfolded and pick out some things. Um, but there's certain things like her foundation that there's only like a couple options. And I'm just going to pick that out for her. But when it comes to like eyeshadows, um, powders, lips, um, and the... Uh, like um, mascaras, bronzers, blushes. I'm gonna let her pick that out blindfolded. Well, she's really just gonna have her eyes closed, but yeah. Okay, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and let's get into it. Okay, so first off is primers. So I'm gonna lay all these primers out before you. And so you just have to close your eyes and pick. So go ahead and close your eyes while I mix all these up. And whichever one you touch first is the one we're going to use. Okay, and go. Ooh, Charlotte Tilbury. Okay. Okay, so she picked out the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. So that is what we're going to use. So we're going to prime your face. So we're going to just look towards me. So this is a very glowy product. It's better to do like mix it in with like a um, like a foundation or to kind of use it on your own. But I like to use it underneath. It makes it more glowy. Okay, can you see the mirror? See how glow it makes your face? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so next we're going to go in. So the foundation that I have that's going to work for her is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Foundation. This is the Luminous Foundation. This is in shade 150W. So that is what we're going to use. Okay, so now, concealer. So, let's see. We'll do your concealer. She's going to choose concealer. There's only four options right here. Item Beauty. So now, we're going to use the Item Beauty Concealer. This is in shade 110. Up your head. So I'm doing your makeup the way I do my makeup, so it's gonna be a lot different than how you would do it. Maybe it's even funny, but yeah, this is how I do my makeup. Now we will pick powder. Um, but for the under eyes, I'm going to pick this for you. It is the Elf Halo Glow Setting Powder. This is what I use to set my under eyes. Um, I find it a lot better because it has like a little bit of a glow to it. It's very light, so it's very nice to set the under eyes. So what this does with by setting your under eyes is um, the concealer, it helps it not settle in your creases. Adds a nice soft texture to the under eye. Okay, now for brows. I don't have that many options, so I'm just gonna kind of 
I'm not going to do her brows normally how I would do my brows, like to the depth of it, because she has a lot smaller brows. So I'm going to use the pencil to kind of draw it out, and I'll, depending on how that looks, I'll either very lightly put some pomade, or I'll just go straight in with some gel. But first, we will draw out the eyebrows. Definitely darker than I used to. Yeah, because I use um, soft brown, because my brows are a lot darker than yours. Yeah, not very I lot. probably could have tried to use a very light shadow, but... <laughs> I'm still, I think I'm going to touch it up a little. It's not as shaped as I want. Okay. So look towards me again. Lift up your head. This one's not so bad. But this one. It's a little bit lighter. Okay. That's all I have to do. Okay. So now we will go into... Do you want to do your face? Like your um, bronzer, blush, highlight? Or do you want to go into eyes? Thank first. Do that. Whatever's eyes? easier for you. Okay. Well, here is eyeshadows. I'll put some up here. Close your eyes so you don't see what I'm putting down. Good. Well, well, that's true. Okay, well then I guess you can open up. So if you don't, since you don't know what's inside, here, just randomly pick. Randomly pick a palette. Okay. You can. You'll have to dig a little bit, unless you want to just pick what's on top. You pick that one? Okay. Okay, so for eyes, you picked the Pure Festival palette, which has all these beautiful colors. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I'll try to go a little bit neutral because I know you're not huge in the color. Mm -hmm. So we'll try to stick with some of the neutral colors. Okay. <laughs> I'll grab some brushes. First, I'm going to primer lids, and I'm going to use a tiny bit of the Ace Beauté Medium Eyeshadow Amplifying Base. Let's see. Use this brush. I'm going to use just a tiny bit. It'll kind of give like a good neutral base. So I'll kind of let that just settle in for just a second. Okay. Let's see. start with like the lightest color in the pan called epic it's a little bit orange so we're just really gonna have to work with this look <laughs> gonna apply it all over the lid Set. And I'm going to spray it, get it nice and good on the 
brush and I'm applying it to the center. Yeah, I'm going to take Free Spirit, which is a much lighter kind of diamond sparkled look. I'm just putting it in the inner corner right there. How does it feel to have your makeup being done? It's not. Nice. This is the second time I've only had somebody do my makeup. Well, it's the first time. I mean, it's way. Oh, okay. I remember that. It's the first time I had, like, what was it, mascara or something? Mm -hmm. And Dad hated it. He was so yeah. mad. I was like, look, look, I have makeup on. And Dad was like, what? <laughs> yeah, I was just a little bit, though. Yeah. I was like five. Let's see. I'm going to take a bring just a little bit. Open up your eyes. Out the edges just a tiny bit. Okay. What do you think so far? It's different than what I'm used to, but it, it looks good. Yeah, I'll eventually brighten up the little bit of the inner a little bit. But I think I do want to do something a little creative. I think I'm going to take a tiny bit of this. 24 karat magic, just a tiny bit of this shade right here, and pop in the center to give the eye a bit of a pop. So close your eyes again. I'm just going to do a little bit. I'm just doing a soft and gentle amount. Okay, there you go. Close your eyes, close one eye, and look. See, like, a little bit of glitter? Yeah. Okay, now we shall do face. Um, I will let you curl your lashes and do your own mascara, because I'm always afraid of, like, poking somebody in the eye. But you can pick the mascara you want. Like, this is watercolor, and those are regular. What's the difference with watercolor and your... Watercolor stays longer. Okay. It, it is harder to wash off. Does this one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, I'm going to let her curl her own lashes and put her own mascara on. She picked this one out, but what she doesn't know about this one... Is colored. Is... Boom! Oh my gosh! It's blue mascara! <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell me that. Uh, no. It's the only color of mascara I have, and she chooses that one. <laughs> okay, so she put her blue mascara on. Show everyone on the camera. <laughs> so what do you think about the blue? Um, not used to it. <laughs> okay, now we get to face products. Da -da -da -da. So... We'll go here first, here's bronzers, and because these are organized the way they are, I'll put them up here one at a time, like section by section, okay. and you'll pick from there. Yep, nope, close your eyes and pick. Well, no, okay, you actually don't know what's in it, so yeah, just pick it. I just thought the closing line would be better, but with like this, you can actually see, and with those, yeah. you can't because they're in packages. So yeah, just pick, because you haven't seen what's inside of them. That one? Yeah. My favorite. Come say that to the camera. So I don't have like cream products. Like I would, I'm trying to do makeup on her the way I would do it, but I normally do cream products like cream bronzer and cream blush, and then do powder on top. But I don't have any for like her skin tone, so um, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna skip that part because I don't. The products I have would be too dark for her. So she picked the Park Ave Princess palette, my ultimate favorite. I'll just pick like the lightest shade from here, and this is going to be your bronzer. So let's see, as a angle would probably be brightest color. Your brightest color. So I'm just gonna do a little bit.
because this is really big knit here. I can see a little bit more warmth to your face. Okay, so there is your bronzer. Now pick your blush product. Oh, and this is a blush too. Okay. So yes, pick your blush products. Okay. That one? Okay, she picked the ColourPop Kiss and Tell Pressed Powder Blush in... No, I think that is the color. Kiss and Tell. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that is the blush. We will use the hat. You picked a good choice because this is a very light pink blush. Not too much. Very light and subtle, just a little bit of pink. Now we should go into my favorite part, highlighters. Okay, and here's all the highlighters. So, pick mm, that, that one. one. And that is the Sancasso and Mint Magito by Fenty. That's their duo. Okay, so this is the highlighter she picked. Now, because there is two, I think I'll use this for like the cheeks and the cheekbone, and I'll use this one for the inner corner. So that we're using them both. So very nice glow. Okay, now we will take and put some in the inner corner. We'll do like icy blue. Close your eyes. Okay. And then we'll kind of blend everything out um, once we do setting spray. But we'll do powder and then we do setting spray. And then lips, and that is it. Okay, pick from any of these products. I know we just use this for bronzer, but it does have like a powder in it that you use for setting. And then these are all setting products, but don't do this one. This one's too dark for you. Okay. But there, there's your options. Mm -hmm. That one? Okay, that's one we we'll use for your under eyes. Okay, now we have it, and she picked out what I use to set her under eyes, which is the Elf Halo Glow Setting Powder, and this is in light. So I'm just going to take this and tap it a little bit so it don't have too much. Now just close your eyes and look at me. Well, have your head towards me. <laughs> your powder is done. Now, we'll do a setting spray. Okay, there is your four options. Just pick one out. This one. Okay, she picked out the Toy Factory Super Set Setting Spray. So close your eyes and have your head towards me. Just shake it up a bit. <laughs> Feel refreshing? So I do this and I pat it in just because of like I was telling you yesterday. Kind of just melts it together. Yeah. Okay. Now we move on to lips. I normally do like a lipstick and then lip gloss on top. So that is what we'll do. I'll let you pick from the lipsticks first and then we'll go through lip glosses. Okay, now. Obviously, you can't really see what shades there does, so you can just have your eyes open and shoes. Um, and I'm not, I mean, unless you want liquid lipsticks, I only have these colors. Now, you can pick out a liquid lipstick if you want, but I would prefer more of a lipstick, so I can put a lip gloss on top of it. Okay. That one? 
Okay. <laughs> and what color did she choose? It's called Too Femme by Too Faced. That's pretty. It's in like a mauvey pink color. Okay. So not too, not too out there. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of lip liner. Let's see that one. Maybe too dark. We'll do this one. It is the lip cheek, lip cheeked by Philip Tilbury. Okay. It is a little bit more on the pink side, but it's not too out there. Okay, I'll rub lips together. See, that's a cute subtle pink. Okay, now we'll do lip glosses. So obviously you can see through the tubes what the lips are. So she's going to pick these with her eyes closed. I'm actually going to put some beside it too, like on the table. So you can kind of get a full range of all of them. Okay, go ahead. Yes, right, right, about, right down, down, yeah. That one? Okay. Ah. This is the Be A Bombshell. This is a really pretty neutral color in Karma. Okay, we are at the last and final step to this makeup look. It's going to be a little different because it's like this tan going on top of pink. But once you mix it together, it'll be fine. Now mix it. Okay. So this is the final look, everyone. The brows, I feel like... I could work on. I've never done someone's brows, so yeah. So, what would you rate it um, from one to ten? From the makeup you've done on yourself, you've seen pictures of um, someone's done on you. How would you rate this makeup? I think you did good. It's good. I just the brows and some of the colors are more yeah than what I'm used to. I'm more used to neutral colors. Yeah. Well, you picked out that. Mascara, not me. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know it was blue. Wow, I can't tell you. Mm -mm. So, say the colors were just right. The technique of how I do the makeup. What do you think? I think a ten. You think ten? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what do you give this overall look, including the colors and how it looks? <laughs> mm, maybe eight. Eight. Well, not yeah. too bad. Not no, too bad. Not too bad. Okay. Well, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.